was that you must be contented. One of the things that is killing our youth, they are never contented. Spirit of convictions have entered them. Everything where your eyes see, you want. Permit me to say something, then I show you my message today. Everything you see, who wear a bola shoe, you want wear a bola shoe. You see, wear a cocoa shoe, you want wear a cocoa shoe. No, First Timothy 6 6 a godliness with contentment is a great game. I didn't say good thing is not good, no, it's good, but it has time. Huh? Follow your destiny, follow God, follow your own way, the way God created you. There are women who are destined to marry multi millionaire fine but there are people who will marry a man who is not doing well but at last they start doing well talk to me but you know that one is far better oh, oh you didn't hear me if a man marry when he has finished building house buying all the things that is important for life before you enter at times you touch those things you say please 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 you didn't know how how i achieved this thing but if not two of you you not gonna tell you like that. Now we, you brought, I brought. So which one is better? Uh, some of you will not answer. It's a bad and in, that's why you see in a house where the answer is we achieved it. You are well respected. You have voice. But if now the man got everything before you came, he can't be like you are a consumer, not a producer. Did you hear what I said? Yes. And because I need to say this thing. I don't, my message today is very simple. And I release you to go because I don't want to keep you the whole day. But very, very important because I need to address you as a youth with these few words. Based on what I pray, where I stop that message, then I'll give you today one. So, very, very important. You must be contented. Somebody wear white cloth. It's good, but wait for your own time. In fact, every man has his own fashion. Did you hear what I said? Wear your own cloth. There are people who are simple by nature. I don't know why we are seeing people like that. No matter occasion you see them, they don't dress big. But they have all that. You know, if they have money to buy the whole world. But that is them. Tell your neighbor, be yourself. be yourself. But the problem we have now is that some of us, what is reigning in this generation is spirit of Camelon. Did you hear what I said? Spirit of what? You know, I was told as a young boy that when Camelon enter where there is blue, he go change to blue. If he enter where he is black, he want to become black. If not red, he want red by force. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Be yourself. Follow the way God created you. Check yourself now. Check even if your mother is fair. You will see some people who carry your mama color, some will carry your papa color. If your family is like family or giant, you must see your web up inside. When I mean a weapon, doesn't mean say it's too short, but go see that they didn't talk like others. Am I correct? Shows that God wire us with different strength. Sit down. So, and it's good you follow your way. All of us cannot manifest in one day. Miracle not turn by turn. So wait for your time. Don't be in a hurry. Don't be faster than your shadow. If you hear me, say I hear you. Because some ladies today become what they are supposed not to because of my friend. And I told you, I thank God the signature also said it on Thursday. He said, I choose to choose my friend, not my friends to choose me. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So choose your friend. Don't allow your friend to choose you. Some ladies today become red, yellow woman because their friends are yellow. Did you know that? They didn't, they didn't become yellow because they desire to be yellow. Or God made them yellow. Now friends make them yellow. And if now friends make you yellow and God made you black, I tell you at times you may miss it. Oh. You t am, I, am, am I offending you on that direction? Now listen. Now let me say this to sisters. Then I preach my message today. If you are born black, appreciate your color. Any day you want to change your color, you are mocking God and mocking your destiny. Why? If you are a black woman, bear it in mind, there is a man somewhere God has created who is looking for your color. And if you change it, you have missed it. You may not like it, but that's the truth. 
I don't know where I traveled one particular time. I saw that the value one meant was much more of white. But I saw something very funny. If a white man see that you are black very well, he will tell you, can I have a picture with you? I'm telling you. Because your color no common for them. They will hold you and snap you. There was a woman who carried a little baby. Black, she black. The husband black. He snapped picture tire. Do you want me? Can I snap picture with you? Can I snap? They were snapping the best thing because they are looking at how can a man black like charcoal and we red like foul. That is the mystery. Youth, am I talking to you? Be your friend. Be yourself. Choose your friends right and do things right. Because do you know why I'm saying this? There are things that are demon and there are things that are mistake. But you see, anything you cause yourself self is a severe problem that may not have solution. Why? Because you are the one who puts yourself there. Okay, if God creates you to be short, why you not go put yourself on engine make you talk? I'm still waiting for a machine that will make people talk. I think Amigo first go. But how many of you know there is a machine that can make you yellow? If I enter and tomorrow, if you see me for road, you're not going to say that you're a pastor. I go red. But you know one thing I've discovered? Anything you give yourself, you go pay tire. Because they, you know if you maintain them. Because now I can't many. I can't many. <laughs> but if God gives you, you don't struggle to maintain it. Those of you who they draw tune, I told them that day, I said, if you draw tune, a big tune or whatever they call it, whatever they tune it to, is that, do you know you cannot donate blood to anybody? The answer is that your blood has been polluted by that singular art forever and ever. Even if your own child is dying, you can't donate blood. Do you know how time there are situations in the hospital, they will say, Papa, donate blood for your son. Talk to me. And imagine that such thing happened. You have a son, God forbid, oh, and they say it requires your blood to live. And now your blood is polluted. If anything happened to that child, they, you are, you are, in fact, the first problem are you. So please, be yourself. Be contented. That little money you are making, be happy with it. And wait for your time. Grow from there. Don't be ashamed whatever that put food on your table. Did you hear what I said? There's one testimony that happened June this year. That testimony really touched me and it concerned you as a youth. As a youth. A young girl helped the mama to go hawk, whether an Azobo or whatever. Along the street, a man saw her and cleared. He went by. The, when they now tell the girl, say, can I know you and this one? The girl said, no, Holy Ghost, why? This is not why I'm here. And the man have to, at the time, find a place clear, bought that in large quantity, gave to people around, and he didn't want to buy it. The man said when he passed that, he had been praying for a wife overdue for marriage, but he now saw somebody who they hawk Zobo for road. And this man is well educated and a wealthy man. Because he entered the first marriage, there was an issue that they couldn't marry. Since then, family they disturb and make him marry. Now, got into the family, didn't when he got to the family, the mother of the girl was the one who shared the testimony give me. Now, one room, a family of seven, they are in one room. I want you to understand the level of their life. The man came the first day after much. You know, they, he now told the girl, say, I'm not here to deceive you. This is what is in my mind. And he gave the boy their phone. The girl got home, told the mama, mama said, call her now. You never need to marry. The mother have to encourage the daughter. That was how the thing happened. The man now had the, talked with the mother and said, can I come to your house for you to see me? And when the man got there, he told the man, saying, I hear what they. The man was not happy. So after that day, the man came back to the woman and said, I cannot bring my family to this house to tell them that this is where I want to marry. He said, I have a house in such a place. Can you people relocate there? It's my house. I was there before I built the second house and nobody is there. The mama said, we will not get choice though. 
So he gave them a bungalow, furnished it. That was her life changed. Where did she met the man? The, I think it's like they have conduct, the marriage have taken place. That was June this year. Did you know it was Hawking Sobo for the mama? How many big years today? That's how we were paint two hands like Willy Willy. Rather, you go tell your mama, go and hug, hug and come back, feed me like fowl in the house. But she humbled herself. I think this is where I'm going to take my message today. She humbled herself. Hug that thing. It was when he got close to the man, he noticed that the man was into so many things. A lawyer, he be an international businessman. And the family said, we like her. The mama could not believe it. So this man, you are as rich as this, doing this kind of things, but yet you never married. He said, no, I wanted to marry before problem happened, so I decided to give up. But at the time, family said, you cannot remain like this. He's saying, go find wife. He said, and when he see this one for hold up, where they hug sobo. He said, waiting draw her, his attention was that, can this kind of beautiful girl like this put hold sobo for her head? He said, no, she must be a humble type. The man said, now the woman with this. And today, she's living like a queen. Is it not funny? Talk to me. Oh, you are not talking to me. That was it. But if you see our so many big girls today, they go, they wear long hair like this. Where go? The men's mom may touch for ground. Go house, nothing they said you work hard. Because you see daughter of president dressed like that. Now you want dress. Your papa na president. Am I talking? Some of us sometimes we are wearing oversized cloth. We we'll see you finish go tea. Say now nah, your papa na be deputy governor. I, I asked one sister why here one day. Oh, I have some daughters. He said, Papa, you don't understand now packaging. I say, don't over package yourself. So that who will go help you go feel help you. Because if you pack it past me, when I help you, I go leave you. He said, eh? I say, yes. If you pack it yourself, pack it small, pack it half, leave the remaining for God. Hmm. They, they love me. Sweat your two hands to this altar. They enter, they carry your blessing. In the name of Jesus, as you turn that M3, and that angel locates you. Yeah. Every one of you in this house that is overdue for marriage. Me as your pastor, but especially the sisters, from now to September next year, I pray you out of your father's house. Yeah. No, if you are saying that, amen, let that amen agree with what I'm saying. Yeah. I repeat, I pray you out of your father's house yeah. into your husband's family. These hands will not be stranded. Amen. Let me hear that amen three times. Amen. Amen. Anything called miscarriage is hereby cancelled. Disappointment, rejection is hereby cancelled. Somebody lift up your hand, shout fire three times. Fire, fire, fire. Shout it again three times. Now close your eyes, be quiet. Straight that hand like this towards me. As I shout in the name of Jesus, close your eyes, shout that fire very loud and clear. Hosha, watch it there. There's about five of them as they shout it. Whatever that is following you, whatever that is standing as a barrier to what you are looking for, will give way. Stretch it. As I pray, shout in the name of Jesus. You will respond by shouting that fire very loud and clear. Father, I pass decree. As they declare, as they shout in the name of Jesus, let's go! Yeah, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. In we give my way, all the go near the cage. He will have far no mega. Had in the Naja. You will go and come back this week. You will go out, be blessed. Yeah. You will return with testimony. Yeah. 
altar of death, disaster raised against you. Somebody had a fire. Hey, these hands will touch money. You watching me there, your hands will touch blessing. You'll not be stranded. If they call your name for evil, it will backfire. If they call your mother children, it will backfire. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. You will walk, you'll see money. Now listen, listen. Those battles of the past that have fought you as a young man, removed your glory, reduced you as a result of where you are coming from. God says the Lord, that affliction will not rise up again. I see you rising. I see God restoring your glory. Restoring your happiness. Where is the Lord God of Remind? Where is the Lord God of Remind? Where is that God answer by fire? Show yourself and show your power. And take all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Another amen. amen. The loudest. Amen. May we share the grace in fellowship. Amen.